Hi everybody, let's see what the upcoming weekend has in store for you. It could be about love, finances, events, trips, anything. Please subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Let's begin. This spread is for all air signs. Perhaps your story is in here, but there's also a separate spread just for your sign. We have the Six of Swords clarified by the star. We have the Queen of Wands. We have Temperance and we also have uh, the Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with um, Aquarius or a fire sign, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. So you'll be dealing with somebody coming back from the past and most likely it'll be this Queen of Wands right there in the middle. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. It could also be somebody you used to work with because Wands are all about work, business and finances. It could have been uh, somebody you used to be friends with, whoever this person is coming back. Over the weekend, they want to bury the hatchet with, with you, they want to um, reconnect with you or get back to, together with you, right? So we have the Six of Swords, the first card that came out. It's very similar energies to the Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck, all the way to your right. I think both cards are about this person coming back from the past. And uh, the, uh, the Star card clarifying the Six of Swords and also Temperance right next to the deck. Both cards are about pretty much the same thing, so we've got a double-double here, right? The star with temperance are all about healing, uh, they're all about uh, bearing the hatchet, getting back together, reconciling, right? Uh, the star is also the personal Aquarius card, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, and temperance is uh, the personal Sagittarius card, so the Squino ones could be a Sagittarius, right? Um, but overall, I do see this person wanting to get back into your good graces and they're wanting to reconnect. But I think it'll be up to you, air signs, as to what you want to do with this person. But we've got two major arcana cards which are all are which are both are about healings and uh, they're both about reconnecting. Alright? Cool. Gemini, we have the Nine of Swords, clarified by the Fool, we have the Seven of Cups, we have Judgment, and we also have the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck, and I just couldn't resist it. I looked underneath the Eight of Wands, and we've got the Sun. You could be dealing with pretty much anybody, as long as that person is coming back from the past. Kind of similar energies with the old air signs, um, but somebody here is definitely a bit too late to the uh, Mercury retrograde party. So Mercury retrograde is pretty much over, but uh, this person still wants to um, get back together with you. So the first card I came out is the uh, Nine of Swords, and it's clarified by the Fool. I think this is the energy of the person coming back from the past, trying to get back into your good graces. They're really worried, they're really stressed out, they've got anxieties, they have a fear of rejection, but they're gonna come towards you anyway, right? Um, the Nine of Swords is clarified by the Fool. The Fool is all about uh, taking a leap of faith, but in this case I believe the Fool is all about second chances. So they're really hoping for a second chance with you and they're really, really stressed out about that. Um, the next card I came out is the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is probably your energy, Gemini, so this is what you'll be feeling like once they reach out to you. Right, speaking of them reaching out to you, the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck, this is a card of communication. So this is them texting you, emailing you, coming over, <laughs> driving over. Uh, basically, this is a card of communication, right? So the Seven of Cups, this is your card, this is you confused, this is you frustrated, um, you're not 100% sure as to... Uh, to let this person back into your life or not. And the last card that came out is Judgment. Judgment is a card of uh, somebody coming back from the past. And since Judgment came out last, and we also have the Sun underneath the Eight of Wands, the Sun is the happiest card in the deck. So together with Judgment, because both of them are major arcana cards, and the Fool is also a major arcana card, I think that you will be giving this person a second chance after all. It's going to take you a little while, you'll need to figure it out, you'll need to think it, think it through, but I think uh, you will cons definitely consider rekindling this uh, connection with this particular person. And uh, that's going to make them really, really happy with the Sun card, because it's the happiest card in the deck. And uh, yeah, looks, looks like you'll be giving them a second chance. Alright, Gemini? Libra. We have the Five of Swords, clarified by the Ten of Cups. We have the Ace of Swords, we have the Nine of Cups, and we also have the Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. I can interpret this spread a couple of uh, rather different ways. 
Scenario number one is uh, someone here is going to be breaking up with someone so they could start a relationship with another person. Or if uh, you and uh, your person recently got into a fight or will be getting into a fight during this week, then uh, by the end of this weekend this person will be back with an apology, right? Yep, that's what I see here. So the first card I came out is the Five of Swords and it's qualified by the Ten of Cups. The Five of Swords is a card of a breakup or this is a card of a fight, a very nasty, uh, pretty bad fight. This is when people slam doors into each other's faces, this is when people have quite a few harsh words to say, you know, or like I said, this is a card of somebody severing ties uh, with another person. And it's clarified by the Ten of Cups, so it has to do with the family, it's not work, business or finances, it is either a family matter or a relationship matter, because the Ten of Cups is one of the commitment or marriage cards, right? So this is where it veers into two different directions, into those two different scenarios. Uh, for some of you, it could it could be an intentional fight, right, or an intentional breakup. So, uh, the person starting the fight or is the person initiating this breakup could get together with another person, right? And we do see someone here in the Seven of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups, all the way to your right. The Seven of Pentacles is a card of waiting, and the Nine of Cups, this is a card of a wish come true, or this is a card of personal satisfaction. So someone could be sitting and waiting on the sidelines, uh, waiting for this breakup to occur, so they could uh, be together with one of those people who is breaking up. And I don't know how roles can be assigned. It's, it will probably be different for all of you, right? Um, with the Ace of Swords, this is that um, truth coming out, or this is uh, the breakup. Because uh, it's kind of symbolic that we have the Five of Swords and the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords, in this case, this is um, a relationship being broken apart. Um, and the Ace of Swords is also a brand new beginning because once those two people are no longer together, this new relationship could start. And scenario number two, if the Five of Swords plays out as a fight, then there's going to be an apology, and somebody is going to be waiting for that apology with the Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, and the apology will come with the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords, it's going to be a very straightforward, very direct communication. Somebody's going to say, you know what, I'm sorry. I was wrong. And uh, the Nine of Cups right next to the deck, this is a card of a wish come true or again this is a card of personal satisfaction. So the person on the receiving end of this apology will, the one who is waiting for it with that Seven of Pentacles, that person will be emotionally satisfied that this person came back and apologized, that this person came back and asked for forgiveness and uh, I think the two of you could get back together and move forward. So, yep, it will play out either one of those two <laughs> ways. All right? Cool. Aquarius. We have the Fool, clarified by the Chariot. We have the Tower. We also have the Page of Cups with the Ten of Cups. And we also have the Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Cancer or pretty much any sign. This is a general reading. So, get ready, Aquarius. Somebody's going to come in unexpectedly. Uh, perhaps you don't know this person right now and uh, you'll just be meeting this person during the week or for some of you it could be somebody you already know but this person will shock you either way by offering you a commitment. Uh, that's what I see here. So uh, we have the tower right there in the middle. Let's start with that card. The tower in this spread is something that happens unexpectedly. In the middle of a bright day you will see some lightning. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's going to drop out of the blue sky and uh, they're going to make you a very serious offer. Um, the first card I came out is the Fool. The Fool is all about taking a leap of faith. The Fool is all about a brand new beginning. And the Fool is clarified by the Chariot. The Chariot is the personal Cancer card, so you could be dealing with a Cancer. Or the Chariot is all about moving forward with this person. The Chariot is one of the victory cards, so this person is not going to take no for an answer. <laughs> For others of you, uh, you're still going to be shocked, uh, this person is still coming in, but the chariot could play out as the two of you um, just, you know, riding into the sunset <laughs> or taking a trip together, a weekend getaway, right? So perhaps they'll just be like, uh, so we've been on a date or in a couple of dates, let's just, you know, hit the road, let's just go. I know you barely know me, but let's just take this drive um, and uh, 
see if we can um, take it from there. But overall, I think the chariot is all about moving forward, and uh, that goes very nicely together with the tower card, because both are major arcana cards, and one is going to shock you, and uh, the chariot, like I said, this is a card of a victory. We also have the ace of wands on the bottom of the deck, all the way to your right. So it's not only about um, emotions, and we'll talk about emotions in just a second, but the ace of wands is also about passion. So there's definitely both passion and emotions involved here. This person really, really wants you with that ace of wands. The last card that came out is the page of cups, and it's clarified by the ten of cups. The page of cups is what usually happens in the uh, early stages of pretty much any relationship, right? This is them giving you flowers, this is them texting you, this is them um, paying a lot of attention to you, giving you compliments and things like that, but the page of cups is clarified by the ten of cups. The ten of cups is one of the commitment or marriage cards. This is what's on this person's mind and uh, it will click inside their head pretty much immediately from the get-go, right? The ten of cups is also called the happily ever after card and uh, if uh, having children is still an option for you, the two of you could definitely have two, uh, I mean, more than two children if you want. <laughs> but we do have two adults and also two kids jumping around in the Ten of Cups. So, like I said, this is a family card and you do not see this coming. And uh, I, I do see a happily ever after together with this person. Alright, Aquarius? Cool. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.